Matt Hewitt, director of the vi music videos of LA Takedown and other people. Old friends. Old friends. So we're going to talk about a uh, track from the film Total Recall, Mutant Dancing. I don't think we would have known that it was even called that. No. It without the help of... The internet. The internet. Yeah, it was always the last resort Venusville song. The Mutant Bar. The it's mutant pretty bar. much the equivalent of the Mos Eisley Cantina song in Star Wars. It's a very silly song. It's uh, ridiculous and goofy. And the funny thing to me is that it's a diegetic song that's playing in the universe of the movie. So these hard-ass mutants and prostitute mutants with three breasts and little people gun-toting mutants, they all listen to this song. If you, in their leisure time. In their leisure time. Club. Yeah. They are choosing to listen to this music. Someone in on Mars, I presume, has made this music. So but. despite them being uh, resistance fighters and living a very brutal existence where they could have their air stripped from them, be killed any day. They uh, they listen to this very cavalier, ridiculous song. And it sounds like video game music. It, it does, sounds yeah. Like 8-bit. It sounds very 8-bit. Street, streets of Rage. Meets Herbie Hancock, Rocket, mm -hmm. drum beat. I guess we didn't know this until recently, but the even though the score is by Jerry Goldsmith, uh, the song is not. Correct. It's by some other guy. Some other guy. Um, I also like about the song that the non-diegetic way it's used, which is when Quaid, Hauser, Hauser um, is reintroduced to Molina, Hauser's babe. Um, it's like playing and it kind of like gets a little louder as they like walk to each other across the, the bar. It's used to enhance this moment of like, kind of like maybe sexual energy or something between them. Connecting, you know, and it definitely has a sleazy sound. Yes, which he does, you know, when creating this character. If we are to believe that this is a, you know, a delusion, a delusion that he's having, he did pick sleazy as one of the so characteristics yeah. of Molina. So. Yeah, he kills a bunch of people in that movie very violently. Uses the guy as a human shield and, uh, and then throws him down an escalator. His, yeah. his bullet hurls towards him. That's an innocent bystander. It is. Just a guy with a backpack on. Yep. Yeah. <laughs>